in this video we are going to demonstrate a case of percutaneous nephrolithotomy done in a patient with horseshoe kidney a 42 year old male presented to us with right sided flank pain for two months duration and on routine blood investigations were found to be normal and his urine culture was sterile he initially underwent an ncct kub for evaluation you can see here in the image provided a large hyperdense stone being found in the right renal pelvis and also small secondary stones were also found in the inferior calyces of the right moiety in a horseshoe kidney he subsequently underwent an ivp where you can clearly see the large pelvic stone and associated multiple small secondary stones which are located in the inferior calyx. The subsequent excretory films of IVP give us a lot of data related to the orientation of the calyces. Like in this case, the image which is provided on the left side, which was a 5 minutes IVP film, where you can see lateral to the calculus, multiple calyces are seen initially. However, when you go to the subsequent IVP film at 10 minutes, as pointed by an arrow, you can see another bright calyx which is seen slightly medial when compared to the other calyces. Generally, the medially located calyces are the posterior calyces. So, this calyx will be an ideal calyx for us to puncture to enter straight and shortest path to the kidney and you can reach the stone in the pelvis easily. Also, this calyx will help you to reach to the inferior calyx as well. The next film is a prone film where you can clearly delineate the ureter on the right side. It is very important to notice that in case of horseshoe kidneys, the inferior calyces are medially oriented which you can clearly notice in this image and the ureter is generally found lateral to the inferior calyces. This is because of the fusion of the lower poles of the kidney in case of horseshoe kidney. After placing a 6 French ureter catheter in the pelvis in lithotomy position, the patient is subsequently turned into a prone position. An RGP is done initially and you can see the calyces getting opacified slowly in the fluoroscopic image and initially a lateral calyces are found but the superior calyx was not well delineated. For identifying the same superior calyx which is pointed out in the IVP with an arrow here in the right sided image, an air pilogram was done. Now you can see when once the air is injected, you can see a faint calyx being opacified in the region of the superior calyx and the same thing has been pointed out in the IVP. So for identifying the orientation, the CM is turned from 0 to 30 degrees and you can clearly see in the fluoroscopic image provided the calyx is moving medially when once the CM is rotated from 0 to 30 degrees. See, again I am showing the pointed calyx with the needle, you can see it is actually coming medially while doing rotation of the CM. You can also find the overlying rib was there. So when we started initially puncturing the calyx, the rib was on the way so hence we changed the skin puncture a little bit higher up and the needle was slowly guided into the center of that calyx in an oblique angle now you can see the needle has just entered into the site of that calyx and once i pressed with an artery a giveaway sensation came out and the needle was in the desired calyx the position of the needle is confirmed by free efflux of saline coming out through the puncture needle. Now a termo guide wire is passed and it can you can clearly see the guide wire going into the ureter. After the track was dilated the puncture which was done should be verified. See here I am checking the position of the calycial puncture. If you can see the infundibulum in front of you that suggests that you have done a correct puncture that you have gone through the papilla, that's why you are seeing the infundibulum in front of you. So after that, the stone was broken using pneumatic lithotriptor 
and slowly you can see here the secondary stones are also being uh, found after clearing the major bulk of pelvic stone and these stones are removed one by one after that when we did a check fluoroscopy we found that there are still residual stones being found in a calyx so how to identify the orientation of this calyx so this can be done by using siam see when we are turning the siam from 0 to 30 degree the stones are actually moving medially at the initially here in 0 degree you can see there is a distance between the ureter catheter and the inferior calycial stones now you can clearly see when i am turning the siam to 30 the distance has decreased that means these stones are moving medially and it suggests that these stones are actually located in a calyx which is actually oriented posteriorly so while doing prone pcnl to identify the posterior calyx you have to navigate using the fluoroscopic guidance like this now here you can see we are actually searching for that uh, inferior posterior calyx i am actually coming back from the inferior calyx and i am slowly searching for that opening of that posterior calyx to identify those stones see here a small infundibular opening was seen here this is the mouth of that calyx so by using a foreign body forceps slowly i passed the instrument into that calyx so that i can identify those stones see subsequently i found out this stone and these stones were removed one by one so this is very important many a times after clearing the major bulk of the stones some residual stones in some calyx needs to be identified properly and this orientation of the calyx turning medially on uh, rotating the cm from 0 to 30 will help you understanding the orientation of those calyx whether it is an anterior calyx or a posterior calyx and you subsequently using that as a guidance you go inside and search for that calyx and identify the location of those residual stones so this is how over a period of time you can master pcnl to achieve complete stone clearance see this is a check scopy which i am doing at the end i am going into the inferior calyx all stones were cleared and the residual calyx which we identified with a fluoroscopic guidance you can see this is that calyx and that also has been completely cleared now again a check fluoroscopy is done which documented complete clearance of the stones thank you